Hey guys, it's Aiden here and welcome back to another video. This is the Canadian Experience Vlog Episode 3. Today, is, as I promised in the previous episode, it's going to be a little episode about co-op. So today's my first proper day in the job. Well, technically my first day was yesterday, but it was just getting to know staff, just trying to settle in, fix it, just set up the office PCs there. So nothing too special happened yesterday. It was pretty cool though. There we, we did get a sushi lunch together. But other than that, today's plan is I'm just going to show you what an average day is like. Well, actually, it's 8.30 now, but I woke up at 8.15. That makes more sense. I'm about to head, just he gonna head over. Work starts at 9. And right now, my plan is I'm I'm probably not gonna get something much for breakfast. I'm not really hungry. I'm just gonna get probably get a, grab a tea or a coffee or something at, at the shop over there. And then I'm gonna head over. Oh, yeah. I never really showed you guys, but like... Hey, look, it's a, it's, a, it's a Linus Tech Tips jacket. Yeah, I've had this for a while now. I got this for myself as a little birthday gift a while back, back in October. And because the engineering department gave me some goodies, I now have a second geese right here. Yeah, essentially, since this is my first co-op here in Waterloo Engineering, what I'm doing is I'm working with the Waterloo Engineering Department, so I'm going to be doing some digital media stuff. So that includes working around with helping to migrate content for their websites, digital media side and recruitment so I might be able to answer some questions posed by high school students about engineering and I might be helping out around with engineering activities especially during like the Waterloo open house days so that's a common ex example of something I would do so there's a lot of collaboration within this role and like some data analytics for the social media so it is an interesting role nothing to engineering related directly but in the first co-op term that's often how it can be so you just follow me along for an average day in the co of co-op. Right now I'm just using the big zoom on my phone. As you can see that building in the distance there, that is E7. And that is one of the main engineering buildings. And you can see right behind me, that's CMH, Claudette Miller Hall, which where I recently the uni, uni dorm where I'm staying. All of these ones around here are all part of the cluster called UWP, University of Waterloo Place. Now I'm basically working, walking to work because for me, work is literally just an E7. This is also where most of my first year classes were, like for the 1A term. For 1B, it's going to be different eventually. It's going to be more scattered. The best part about being able to work in E7 is the fact that uh, is that it's literally so close, it's only a five minute walk every day. So that means I can always head back there to get food in the cafeteria for lunch. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing every day. These lights are down, all the lights are red, which means that there's a train crossing here. Well, the iron light rail trains are crossing, as you can see. That means I'm going to have to get the speed across. Okay, where I am now, this is the University Plaza. So there's a lot of things here, you know, there's gonna be some small supermarkets, a lot of restaurants, so it's every now and, off, every now and then I come over here to grab it, some eat food. Yeah, I'm just using a wide body camera just to show you the size of E7, here it is. Well, technically E5 and E7 are connected together and the bridge connects them to the rest of the main campus area over there. First up first, I'm gonna go get some coffee or tea. Oh, probably a tea, so it will make sense for me. Right, I'm finally in the elevator going up to the 7th floor of E7 now. As I said earlier, this week is mostly full of training tasks and like training development courses that I need to do. But there are going to be some like weekly meetings that happen for me, so I'm going to be joining one of those today. So unfortunately, the way I set up for that is a bit annoying. Since the mic and the webcam are being a bit weird, so I'll have to fix something later. What time did you arrive? Uh, I literally just came here like two minutes before you walked in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so work for the morning has basically been done. So again, it's just me doing mostly training based stuff because there's a lot of stuff in the Waterloo University apartment in terms of training that's provided. So I've just been dealing with that, just scheduling some things that are gonna be going on in the week. So just some events. And there was a meeting this morning, so nothing too special. Now I'm gonna have to get lunch back in soon. Because the creation station here basically rotates. Sometimes it's like those kind of curry. Sometimes it's going to be pasta. It depends on the wheat. So I know I don't. I'm not one of those kind of people who don't like to repeat the same food for lunch and dinner. So I always try to get something a bit different. And yeah, when I think of cafeteria food, I think of something really generic sometimes. And this is not not as bad as I, as I thought of it because I usually don't have high expectations for cafeteria food. But this is the part. Oh, and the best part. I, one of my packages have been delivered here to the front desk. They just haven't processed it yet. So I'm, if I can get a notification within the next hour, then I can immediately collect it and bring it to me over to the office space because I got myself a, a cheap mic, just a 5 fine case, 69 b and a boom arm and a webcam so I can use it from the office setup over there. So it becomes much more convenient than having to switch around with my laptop all the time. Yeah, I finished the meeting. I'm just heading back to the residence area to the front desk to collect the packages. I told you about the mic and the webcam and stuff and then I'm bringing it back to the stop. Hi, I'm here to collect the package. Let's go unpack this once I get back. Okay, we're now back inside the office area. It's now 5.20, so technically it's past office hour time, which is okay. I'm just here with this little box. And I haven't actually given you a proper t little tour of what this area looks like, but you know, it's nothing. I don't know, I work with two other people that are also co-op students. One of them's first year, one's in a, one's an upper year. But you know, it's just one, two, and three. This one's my area, you know. It's great to have a dual monitor set up because, oh my God, I miss that so much. I miss using triple, so you can imagine how much I already suffered using a single monitor. But without further ado, let's actually look into our unboxing. And yes, yes, boom arms here. It's just the cheap newer ones that you find on Amazon. Nothing too special, but let's actually look at the mic and webcam now. So let's start off with this webcam. So this here is a Nexico N660P. It's a 1080p webcam. And the reason I didn't go with something like a Logitech this, one, this time is because this one intrigued me. 1080p 60 capture. Most of the Logitech ones for this price range are 1080p, 1080p 30 instead of 1080p 60. So I am just curious to see what the performance of this one is like overall. So honestly, I'm just gonna cut through this one. I hate when companies really tape their boxes like that so it's almost impossible to actually rip out smoothly. And there's an, even an extra layer here, go fig. Oh, never mind, I'm an idiot. It just folds out like this. So let's actually see what's inside. So, of course, it's just the webcam itself and just a simple user manual. There shouldn't be anything too interesting in here. The wrapping, and as you can see, it's a very interesting camera here because there's actually a cover on it. And then the mic's in there on the side, but I'm not gonna be using this mic anyway. I'm too picky when it comes to video and audio for this. The mounting looks rather straightforward. It's a standard clip out kind. And it's just gonna be, and then you have the standard long USB cable. So I'm gonna try connecting this into my Mac later to see how this goes. I have my hubs and accessories all with me, so I don't need to worry about it. Next order is the Five Fine K669B. This was a cheap microphone. It was around 40 Canadian dollars, or around 25 to 30 USD, which is what this, no this normally is. However, in Hong Kong, because I we could, I usually just would just get it on Taobao, I could find it for much cheaper. But you know, Taobao shipping here to Canada, unfortunately, is not as easy. So I'm just gonna slice through the gap here hopefully it gets added good well so again user manual don't really care and then you have the mic itself here so and you know it's really nothing that special it's just a simple mic itself you have the capsule you have a, a volume knob that I'll probably s s just to be consistent and of course the USB mic and then the mic mounting ring itself which honestly so I'm just so this is just gonna be a standard clip on here and then it will be screwed in through up to a normal mount on the boom arm. So let's actually go ahead and do that now. Okay, so for setup, let's go. Sorry, let's just start by do putting this thread here. So I can just zoom and screw this straight into the mic. No, sorry, not the mic, the mic stand. 
like it's just like so yeah so it looks like it should clip like that and the microphone should do the same overall so if I do it just do it like that then screw this clip on right here and there we go it should be, there we go it's mounted properly I, from what I can see which is great so now I can just adjust this as I need to and this will also adjust this as I need to here. Okay, so I do have the thing set up now. So I have this this pop filter here, and I have the Vifine K69B boom arms here, just mounted like so. And then I have myself over here on my Mac. This is all just connected by a hub. Hello, I'm gonna do the final video test and outro over here. And I have the webcam just sitting here. And it looks surprisingly good, but we'll confirm it actually just by looking here. And it turns out that this thing can pivot as well on its own individual axis, which is rather nice, I must say. Well, obviously, the cover must go out of the way, but that's not a big deal. So let's actually look here now and see what this looks like. So overall, what do we learn about this mic setup and with the webcam? Honestly, I'm rather impressed. I quite like this webcam. It looks smooth so far, just from what I'm con I can conclude. Audio-wise, what do I think of the K669B? I think it sounds crisp enough. Sure, it's nothing great, but at the same time, it's also not like my MV7 I have, which they're not remotely comparable. But overall, you see what I've done today on my first proper day on the job. Now, yesterday was technically the first day, but as I mentioned, we were doing just some set, a lot of computer setup, meeting the team. So it was nothing too special there. So today was more just work and training focus. This entire week is training focus. But with that being said, that's probably all the footage I'm going to be using for this vlog. And thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and be sure to stick around for the next episode. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.